Welcome to CERT Data Recovery's YouTube RAID 5 Data Recovery segment brought to you by CERT's own Clean Room Productions. Today we're going to discuss a few points about RAID 5 failure. We're going to give you a few tips and answer the question how to rebuild a failed RAID 5 array. We get RAID 5s in our office quite frequently. Most of the time the individual has attempted to rebuild the RAID or repair the failure in one way or the other. Now, we are not responsible in any way for the outcome of any do-it-yourself attempts. What we are trying to do here is educate our viewers a little bit on the principles of RAID 5 failure and recovery. So, you have a RAID 5 that has failed and you need to get your data back online. Okay, great. The first thing you need to do is shut down your device until you know exactly what's going on. The next thing you need to do is ask yourself a couple questions. Number one, can you afford to lose the data forever? Number two, how many drives in your array have failed? Number three, do you know the order of the drives in your array? Number four, what caused the RAID failure? Was it physical or mechanical or some other issue? Normally, a RAID 5 array can lose one drive without having to worry too much. It is not recommended to operate in this degraded state for very long at all before replacing the failed drive or at least backing up your data. Remember, RAID is not a backup. It is simply storage. Okay, you have the information we discussed above, hopefully, and you're ready to move forward. So how do you rebuild the failed RAID 5 array. It's really simple folks. If one drive has failed, you take the failed drive out and replace it with a good drive of the same capacity. The RAID should then rebuild itself and that's the beauty of a RAID 5. Now, if you have two drives down, you're going to need to call a data recovery company with experience in recovering RAID 5s. CERT has almost a hundred percent recovery success rate for RAID cases that have not been previously worked on. Now, here's some really good points to remember when rebuilding a single drive RAID 5 failure on your own. Point one, you have a greater chance of a second drive failing during the rebuild process. So you need to pay close attention while this is happening. This is compared with watching grass grow. Point two, if the rebuild process fails, this is more than likely what has happened. Either another drive has failed or your controller has failed. Point three, if a rebuild seems to be taking more time than it should, there could be a serious problem. Document the steps taken and the time frame and call us for a free phone consultation. Point four, always keep the drive you removed handy and marked with the bay it came out of until you are sure the RAID has been fully rebuilt and data integrity is checked. Point five, if you do have to send your array to a data recovery company, make sure you have all the original drives and that they are accurately labeled. So basically we have shared with you some tips and concepts of RAID 5 failure and recovery. You can always feel free to give us a call for a free phone consultation where we can answer your questions and help you get back on track. Or you can comment below and we will definitely respond there as well. Remember, CERT Data Recovery is here for you. We have the nation's most affordable and reliable RAID recovery service. Good luck to you and stay tuned for more helpful videos from Clean Room Productions and CERT Data Recovery.